Hey guys, been a while. Feels like a lot's happened, even though it hasn't been that long since I uploaded. I mean, it's been a long time, but by 404 Tales standards, not that long. I've been putting more work into the next episode of Boomer vs. the Internet, but I've also been very busy with IRL stuff. I know that seems to be always the case, but I'm sure it's usually the case for you all as well. I'll give you a hint as to what I've been up to, in that I told one person on the Discord, who's active on the Discord, what new thing has occurred in my life. I will not tell you who knows this information, but they do know it, and you might be able to extract it from them if you join our Discord, which the link is down below. Anyways, I thought I'd start doing these uh, little sit-down and talks again while working on Boomer vs. the Internet. It turns out that, you know, I have a lot of uh, free time suddenly. I haven't been too bored, though. There's actually been a lot of things that I've been able to, you know, occupy myself with, a lot of things I've been able to catch up on, and the Internet is just a very interesting place right now. It's very busy. It's been really strange for me, because as someone who's so plugged into the internet, it's happening everywhere is the craziest thing. There's not too many global occurrences. Even when the sun sets and the sun rises are completely different depending on where you are in the world. But right now, in the, across the entire globe, everyone seems to be bored and stuck at home. And that's something that's kind of tied us all together. And it's also seems to be driving a lot of people completely insane. Everyone's stuck at home, watching Netflix, playing video games, and generally just trying to consume any sort of entertainment that's been laying around waiting for them for the last couple of months. And for now, they're staying entertained, but in a weird way, we might be facing a entertainment drought. I know this sounds kind of weird, but the strange thing is, is a lot of these bigger, you know, video games and TV shows and movies, they take a lot of people to operate, a lot of people in a close area operating together, and that's not really something anyone can do right now. Even these big companies are secluded right now. They're separated, they're divided, and they're having to just basically be like the rest of us, stuck at home, bored, trying to pass the time. Right now, we have, you know, Animal Crossing, we have Netflix, we have Doom, we have lots of little entertainment that can keep us occupied for a certain period of time, but it's starting to look like we might be in this for the long haul, and we might not be able to rely on these huge entertainment companies to, well, keep us entertained. So the question is, at that point, what the hell are we going to do? I believe a hero will rise to save us from our boredom. And that hero is an old friend, an old ally that never really went away, but a hero that we never appreciated as much as we used to. A hero that used to be found across the internet. And that hero is... Okay, that might be a little confusing. Let me elaborate. So, back in the day, on the internet, there was a sort of, you know, presence of big entertainment companies, but for the most part, we entertained ourselves. It was just this. Just people stuck in a house, bored, doing dumb stuff that to entertain themselves, and as a result, ended up entertaining everybody. And this may seem completely asinine, this may seem completely stupid and frivolous and not entertaining at all, but... This kind of content is what eventually evolved into Vine, and then evolved into TikTok, and then evolved into the, you know, meme collection channels that provide hours of entertainment nowadays. These memes spiral off into higher quality memes, and more produced memes, and more quality content created by individuals. Those individuals are full of innovation in a way that giant corporate monoliths can't really keep up with. It's highly inventive, it's highly creative, and it's highly entertaining, in my opinion. And maybe this kind of stuff isn't for you, but this side of the internet, these idiots ended up creating a wave that affected all of culture. And you might not be aware of it because it started off small with little goofballs like these guys, but eventually, eventually, it turns into something much bigger. It's a weird combination of boredom and community that pushes us to these strange and interesting new places. And these kind of places are what makes the internet the internet. The internet entertains itself. And in a time where everyone's stuck at home and stuck online, more people will be turning to the internet than ever before. I think we're looking at a kind of a golden age, a return to form for the internet, where the internet entertains itself. Everyone kind of coming together to create these new and interesting methods of entertainment and community that might spark something new. And it could be something that's talked about for decades after this. There are more eyes, ears, and, and noses to the ground just desperate for content, desperate for things to occupy their minds, take their minds off of what's happening in the world right now, and anyone could be that escape. 
it's no longer about who has the biggest budget. It's no longer about who can go to the coolest places. It's no longer about who can, you know, I don't know, lick the most toilet seats. Everyone's at home. Everyone's online. Anyone could be making content for all those millions and millions of people. In these dark times, we're going to need escapism, and we're going to need people who can provide that escapism. I think the big question here is, are you capable of doing that? It doesn't have to be a lot. You don't have to be a super creative person or a super talented person to entertain people. So we're going to do a little exercise real fast. I want you to leave a comment down below. And I'm not just going to, you know, say, oh, comment down below and like, subscribe. No, I'm actually so bored, I will reply to every person who comments on this video. Might not be a lot, but I got the free time now. I might make a whole dissertation. I might make a video about your comment if it's so good. The main thing here is I want people making content with me. We need escapism. We desperately need it right now. People need to be able to get out of their homes, even if it's just through the internet. So be that person. Let's start a new golden era of the internet. That's it. I hope you have a good evening, internet.